What's going on everybody, this your friend Killer Kong Chung from Concept Barbershop out here in San Jose, California, you heard me? Listen, I got a couple announcements to make, but before that, I'll walk you through the basic step of this no guideline technique. First, you want to take the top down to the desired length. In this case, it's the number two. After that, you want to make the ball line. All right, make sure you hold the ears down, move the ear out the way so the ear don't get cut. You take this ball line a little bit beyond halfway so that you can see it from the other side. And then again, you repeat it from the other side. Clip it all the way closed and you meet it in the back of the head. And the reason why we do this is to help keep our our ball line straight. You don't want lopsided ball lines. Alright? And after that, you want to open up your clipper just a little bit. Why? So that you don't cut the client. Because the clipper is zero gap and if you angle it down towards the neck, you might cut them. If your client is walking out the shop with irritated red spots and nicks on the back of the neck that's the reason why we want to open up the lever a little bit and then you want to ball everything out with the Philips Norelco alright I like this because it's smooth it's quiet and it don't leave harsh ball lines that are impossible to blend out next you want to use your detailer or here I got the wall sidekick which is what I raffled off last week alright you want to start right in the middle set your starting point stand face to face with your client so you can see the whole picture and then line it up from there on the side right here you want to angle slightly outward like this you don't want to take it straight down and you definitely don't want to angle it inward towards the ear again start right back in the middle before you line up the other side you want to stand face to face with your client so you can see the whole line so you have you know what to compare it to and that's how you keep your line up straight Again, on the other side, angle outwards, never straight down. And then onto the blending, again, clipper all the way closed, and you're going up about a quarter of an inch. All right, you take this, you want to dig deep and flick out as you go up. You want to dig deep because you don't want to leave any shadows from the transition of the ball into the blend. Take this all around the head. Alright, dig deep, flick up, take it all around the head, and then once you're over here, to keep the lineup dark, you want to flick. Not only are you blending up, but you're blending outward, so that you can keep the, the hairline dark. Alright, after that, you want to open up your clipper about a quarter of the way, and then again, you want to fade up about a quarter of an inch. You keep repeating, repeating this step back and forth until you're fully open with the clipper. All right, again, you want to move the ears out the way so that it doesn't get irritated. Right here, I'm fully open. And I, again, I'm going up about a quarter of an inch. The higher up you go, the lighter you want to be with your wrist. Right here, I'm blending outward to keep the, the hairline dark. All right. Now, after you take this back around the other side, you want to brush them down to remove any excess hair that's still stuck to the skin. All right, and then you go back and you do touch up work. And that's the basic steps that you'll use for your next guard, for the zero guard, the one guard, until you're fully blended outward. Next, the announcement I wanted to make was that we found the winner to the raffle. And the story behind the reason why I wanted to do the raffle was because a 14-year-old barber from a different country messaged me and asked me how much these walls, um, magic clips are. And I told him $65, but I recommend you get two of them. One using and one charging just in case this one runs out of battery and then he told me wow that's a lie because the currency in his country a, a haircut is equivalent to just a dollar you had one us dollar so that would take him a long time to just get even one clipper and when i heard that i felt bad and i wanted to send him a pair of clipper so that he can have it but then you know Unfortunately, there are more more younger barbers out there that would love to have that and I'm just not financially uh, You know making enough to give everybody gifts So I was hoping that this raffle would reach somebody that you know would use and need this tool the most and fortunately it worked out because the winner of this raffle is a barber student he it took him a while to to claim the price because he's he's been busy with school and busy at work so he just recently seen the video and he messaged me that he thought he may have won and sure enough he won 
and he's a barber student in Beaumont, Texas, all the way from Texas. And I'm really happy that he won this, and I'm hoping that it could be of some use for him. Anybody else that are planning to buy the Sidekick, I recommend you buy the Walls TY blade with it because the original blade that it comes with is really small and it's not that great. So buy the TY blade also if you're gonna go buy the uh, the Wall Sidekick. Again, I'll post all the tools in the links. Thank you so much to everybody that tuned in live. I really appreciate it. And as I stack up some more funds, I'll raffle off some more tools and giveaways for everybody. The next one I'm thinking about raffling off is the Walls Magic Clips. Or if I have enough money, I'll do the uh, Coreless Seniors. Alright, peace. Thank you everybody. I appreciate y'all so much.